So first of all, uh, I gotta tell you what rugby is, right? So rugby is a contact sport. What's a contact sport? It's whichever sport, like football, uh, American football, or say handball or basketball, the which you have physical contact to the other team or the other player. The thing is, uh, rugby and American football, they both have tackles in it, so you get to tackle the man in front of you. So rugby is basically the father of American football, and not meaning one is better than the other one, but um, American football was born because of rugby. So let me tell you a little bit of what's rugby. This is what the how the ball looks like. So you throw it sideways and backwards, never forwards. Um, in American football, you also you're always trying to like get forward, forward, forward. And uh, in rugby, you also need to go forward to the touch zone. It's not a touchdown though; it's a try, but it's in a try zone, and you have to go forward and get to the touch line to make a score. The thing is, you have to go forward by passing backwards or sideways. So it's a little bit tricky. So other than the ball, we use uh, usual like soccer shoes or American football shoes, and we use mouth guards. This little thing here. So it clips in in your feet, and now you're protected against any damage to your feet, tongue, or lips in that case. So that's the only protection that we use. It's a mouth guard and uh, no pads, uh, not in the shoulders, not in the legs, not anywhere. So that's what basically rugby is. Okay, so I'm here. This is the rugby field here at FIU. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I'm allowed to record inside, so I'm gonna show you. FIU Rugby, so this is where we apply the language, the discourse community, the language this community is right here in this field, is where we practice and we communicate at most is down here. So our main communication tool is our mouths. We do it orally, that's uh, the main goal for us is talk, talk and talk during the game in between games and in between time. So if you're uh, half time and you have like a little pep talk, mouth talking is a communication, assertive communication. So I wanted to show you guys, this is it at FIU in front of the fitness uh, center here at FIU. So uh, I just wanted to show you a little bit. This is my clits for rugby and mouth cord again, as I showed you in the beginning. And yeah, this is where it all happens. It makes, now they have to make decisions. And if we can get the ball out fast enough, what happens? Like our guys can beat anybody one on one, right? So that we, we have to think on, on play like that. Now, let's talk about attack, it, 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 attacking in structure because this is, this is super important. Because if we do do that, then we need to look at what, what, what our options are, right? So, what's our best option here? CK has this set up. A little bit more of the uh, FIU Rugby community communication tools. This is the WhatsApp group that we use. Uh, as, you, as you can see, we talk a lot. We send up videos from what we are supposed to do. We take those lists that you're seeing on the screen right now uh, to see who's attending to practice on which day, and so on. Another one of the tools or part of WhatsApp is um, Instagram, where we can go in and see the FIU Rugby webpage. Here you can see the training hours, the practices. You can see some highlights. And you can see all the announcements. So those are the virtual um, communication tools that we use, is WhatsApp and Instagram. A tackle is a physical contact in which you stop the other player from going into your direction and score. So it has to be below shoulders in order to be legal, otherwise it's going to be a penalty. 
you can see a video that I posted and some pictures. How did Sam the build up from pressure? Good luck out there from Collins. This is Thorn. Robert Lopez with him. One man to beat. He can do it. Can they stop him? What a reply. Well, you just cannot give him any space at all. Joe Robert Lopez gets New Zealand second. Like the two past words that I just explained in the videos, uh, there are plenty more such as Ruck, Scrum, Scrum Half, Line Out, uh, Mole. There's a whole world of vocabulary on rugby and especially between each team. I've been playing for FIU here in the United States. In Mexico I played for Lobos, for Loyola and for Iteso that was my previous university. In Colombia, I played for Petit Rojo's team. And in Germany, I played for uh, Munich Monks. So uh, I've played um, in many teams. And the vocabulary is pretty similar in every team. There are just some tweaks between the place and the name of them and the keywords. For example, if it starts with, with a letter, it means that it's one kind of play. If it starts with an animal or with a color or those kind of things changes but just a little bit this is a little bit more of a worldwide valid vocabulary so yeah that's pretty much it I hope you liked it guys uh, there's a lot more to learn this is just the beginning of it see you next